The artist is the creator of beautiful things. To reveal art and conceal the artist is art's aim. The critic is he who can translate into another manner or a new material his impression of beautiful things. Those who find ugly meanings in beautiful things are corrupt without being charming. This is a fault. Those who find beautiful meanings in beautiful things are the cultivated. For this, there is hope. They are elected to whom beautiful things mean only beauty. There is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written or badly written. That is all. No artist is desires to prove anything. Even things that are true can be proved. No artist has ethical sympathies. No artist is ever morbid. The artist can express everything. Thought and language are to the artist instrument of an art. Vice and virtue are to the artist materials for an art. All art is at once surface and symbol. Those who go beneath the surface do so at their peril. Those who wear the symbol do so at their peril. It is the spectator in our life that art really mirrors. Diversity of opinion about a work of art shows that the work is new, complex, and vital. When critics disagree, the artist is in accord with himself. We can forgive a man for making an unuseful thing as long as he does not admire it. The only excuse for making a useless thing is that one admires it intensely. All art is quite useless. You must lend me this, Basil. I want to read it, it's brilliant. That entire depends on how you pose today, Daria. I'm tired of posing. I don't think I want to portray of myself that much. You know my aunt, Lady Agatha. She has spoken to me about you. You are one of her favorites. I am in Lady Agatha's black book at present. I promised to go to her club with her and I forgot all about it. We were to play a duet together. I don't know what she would say to me. I'm too far to call. Oh, I will make you peace with my aunt. She is quite devoted to you. And I don't think it really matters about you not being there. The audience probably thought it was a duet. When Aunt Agatha sits down to the piano, she makes quite enough noise for two people. That is very hard to her, not very nice to me. Lady Agatha said it wasn't a good idea for me to spend so much time with you. Have you really a very bad influence, Basil? As bad as she says? There is no such thing as a good influence, Miss Gray. All influence is immoral. Why? Because to influence a person is to give him one's own soul. He sins if there are such things as sins are bowered. Miss Gray, people are afraid of themselves nowadays. Courage has gone out of our race. The terror of society, which is the base of moral, and the terror of God, which is the secret of religion. These are two things that govern us. Just turn your head a little more to the right. And yet, I believe that if one man were to live his life out fully, were to give reality to every dream, I believe that the world would gain such a fresh impulse of joy that you would return to the Hellenic ideal, to something finer and richer. You, Miss Gray, you yourself, you had passions that have made you afraid, thoughts that have filled you with terror, Daydreams and sleep dreams whose mere memory might stain your cheek with shame. Stop! I don't know what to say, you be wide of me. I don't that is some answer to you, but I just can't find it right now. Let me let me think or try not to think. You must not stress about it, Dorian. That we won't do bad for your youth and it would be hard to paint your portrait. It would be very unbecoming to you. What does it matter? It should marry everything to you, Miss Gray. Why? Because you have now the most marvelous youth. And the youth is the one thing that will happen. 
I don't feel that. No, you don't feel it now. Someday, when you are old and ugly, you will feel it. You feel it terribly. Now, where you go, you charm the world. Will it always be so? You have a wonderful, beautiful face, Miss Gray. Don't frown. You have, and built is a form of genius. It's higher than genius as it needs no explanation. It cannot be questioned. It makes prince of those who have it. You smile? Hmm. When you have lost it, you won't smile anymore. People say sometimes the built is only superficial. To me, built is the wonder of wonders. It's only shallow people who do not judge by appearance. The true mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. Yes, Miss Gray, the gods have been good to you. But what the gods give, they quickly take away. Time is jealous of you. Realize your youth while you have it. Live the wonderful life that is in you. A new Adonis, that is what our century wants. You might be visible symbol. The world belongs to you, Miss Gray, for a season. Youth, there is absolutely nothing in the world but youth. I am glad I have met you, Basil. I want to I always be glad. Quite finished, Miss Gray. And you have post written today, Dorian. I'm awful obliged to you. Don't you like it? If I don't like it, who wouldn't like it? It's one of the greatest things in the modern art. I will give anything you want for it. I must have it. It's your profit, Miss Gray. How sad it is. What? I shall grow old and hard and dreadful, but this picture will remain always young. It will never be older than this day. If it was only the other way, if it was I who were to be always young and the picture that were to grow old, for this, for this, I will give everything. Yes, there is nothing in the whole world I will not give. I should object very strongly for that arrangement, Dory. I believe you would, Basil. You like your art better than your face, and no more to you than a green bronze figure. Hardly as much, I dare say. Yes, and less you than ivory arms or your silver fall. You like them always. How long will you like me? Till I have my first wrinkle, I suppose? I know now that when one loses one's good luck, it loses everything. Your picture has told me that. When I find out I'm growing old, I will kill myself. Good on Don't talk like that. Are you not jealous of material things, are you? I am jealous of everything whose beauty doesn't die. I am jealous of the portrait you have painted of me. Why should I keep what I must lose? Every moment that passes takes something from me and gives something to it. If it was only the other way, if the picture could change and I could be always what I am now, why did you paint it? Don't, it would be murder. I am glad you appreciate my work at last. Dorian, I never thought you would. Appreciate it? I'm in love with it. It's part of myself now, I feel that. Well, as soon as you are dry, you shall be vanished in framing and sent home. Then, we can do what you like with yourself. Unless, you want me to give it to someone else. If you let anyone have it but me, I will never forgive you. You know the picture is yours. Dorian, I gave it to you before it existed. Let us go to the theater tonight. There must be something known somewhere. Dorian, you may go. I will stay here with the real Dorian. Is it the real Dorian? Am I really like that? Yeah, you are just like that, Dorian. At least you are like in appearance. But I will never alter. That is something. Then I must go. Very well. You had to lose no time. Goodbye. Come tomorrow. Certainly.